to Let's Talk, the show with a twist of flavor and a shot of relevance. Today we have a very hot topic, Arizona's immigration bill, SB 1070. It's dividing up the country on the left, on the right, <laughs> and everybody is up in arms about this. And so let's see what our talk yeah, show hosts have to be say. Divided. We're divided. We oh, are divided. I have to, can I just, I'm just going to get this out because I know that there are a lot of people that feel this way too. I'm tired of my taxes paying for, you know, emergency room visits for undocumented women that are beaten by their undocumented husbands. <laughs> be paying for undocumented wow. emergency room visits. So Maravina, you yeah. think that undocumented workers don't pay taxes? You well, don't think they how ca can they? They're undocumented. Oh, how do they, my, what documents? You know, that's hmm. the problem, that there is yeah. so much misinformation, because as yes. a matter of fact, really? they contribute yes. not only in taxes, but by consumption of goods and services. And I have some mm -hmm. figures to back it up. Okay. In 2007, a nonpartisan congressional budget office reviewed 29 reports over 15 years. Mm -hmm. And bottom line, this is what they found out. Undocumented workers contribute more to the economy than they cost us in services. So they're and paying for their hospital who business. Is, who is this? Yeah. Where is this what information? Report? Where does this report it's, come from? It, Why doesn't anybody from, know about it? From Congress. In 2007, when we had a Republican <gasps> government in office, okay. nonpartisan congressional budget office. But you know what office. I want to yeah. say is this, yes, taxes are important, and I'm glad you said that, Diana, but this bill, I want to say it's racist, and it that's why racist. people are up in, up in arms about yeah. it. Because because if I walk in Arizona, if you walk down mm -hmm. Arizona, if any of us, uh, yeah. they can stop you and say, where's your birth certificate? Not just that's your horrible. license. That's right. Well, well, that's it's legalizing I, racial it profiling. Is oh, well, that's racial profiling is by the way, somebody 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 is. But if someone asks me, I mean, uh, listen, in our business, we are filling out I-9s all the time. I have no problem. That's, I'm a men American I'm citizen. But that's walking because down we're street, American citizens. Walking down the street. She says racial it's profiling not right. is a completely it's different It's just not thing. right. Even no, no, the same thing. No, no, no. I'm, I mean, I'm just saying, I don't have an issue if, someone, if someone's job is to ask me as a peace that's, officer. And if you don't, I don't have a problem. You shouldn't you carry that your way. passport around with you? Do you, you know what? I to. actually do carry copies because I might need them for a job. Have to carry around proof of Excuse being a citizen. Excuse me. Have any an job you go to or today else. after 9/11, everyone must but present nobody, documentation. It everyone. doesn't bother you. Know. Doesn't bother me. That they okay. only stop people that, that have look, dark skin you know. color. They're only stopping you would be people stopped. with. Like, Excuse that's me. The, problem. the law is people with that's a reasonable suspicion that they might be exactly. here illegally. So what about the Brits? What about Vietnamese? What about They're not going to stop them. Oh, it's in Arizona because they're looking for oh. people. Like, and okay. and that's right. what makes me mad. No, yeah. Yeah. this makes me really yeah. mad because this is a very personal issue to me. There are a lot of decent, hardworking, undocumented no people living in this country that raise their children right, that don't encourage, you know, they want them to yes. go to And they're criminalizing them. They're yes. turning them they're into criminals. They're them. making them out to be criminals. However, they mm -hmm. so much want to be a citizen that they go through the proper channels yes. to become naturalized. Yes. And this country makes it so hard. And now they pay taxes. taxes. Yes. Um, taxes. Okay, but they can collect, right? 50 to 75% they... of undocumented workers pay taxes. And this is the case. No, I don't know that because, because the information isn't there? I it isn't. INS. Well, of course, the government's not no going to give you that information. Why? Immigration. INS gives you them know a, I don't an know. identification That's number. Question. So they actually have okay, taxes so, and they contribute and to so social security. And you know what? This. I'm really happy question. that a lot of high-profile people have come up against this, this yes. bill. You know, we need more. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, who actually got arrested because, you know, to, to prove a point at the march in Phoenix, uh, Gloria Stefan, Shakira, Stephan. and all of the... And, they're and speaking out. They didn't get arrested. They're speaking yeah, they're out. Speaking yeah, out. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. Celebrity does give and you a little leeway here. And we need to speak out. And yeah, Phoenix, we need yeah. to do the, something. Those Phoenix Suns, you know, everyone's taking a stand. There's so many corporations, so many cities. Los Angeles. We have well, to speak China, out. The Chinese Olympic gold uh, winner also is speaking and, out. Well, he, 80 million. Everybody is talking about it. And that's important. But are we doing anything? Anything about it is the you know well, what can we do? Is, I don't know. Is there 80, laws? Eighty million dollars already in boycotts from okay. different cities. So but there's a lot 
They're I hurting haven't heard that they're hurting. I they're heard about the boycotts, but I haven't yeah. heard that they're hurting. No, they're hurting. $80 million, they're, they're scared. The no, city well, we of Los scared. Angeles we are, has canceled contracts that they had yes. with and Arizona. San they Francisco and Oakland. Well, obviously, the great news is that this is making people find out more and talk about it, and we definitely need immigration and reform. And we will continue to talk about that in our next segment. Stay tuned. We have a noted attorney who's going to give us clarity on this issue. We'll be right back. Let's talk. All right, as you can see, this is a very heated discussion. So here to shed some light on this topic is one of our most renowned business and entertainment Latino attorneys, uh, closet comedian and one of the Mero Meros who is uh, organizing a powerful movement to reform immigration. Please welcome James E. Blancarte. Welcome, Jim. Hi. Well, thanks thank for you. being here. We thank need you. You. you guys yes. know how happy I am to be on the Latina View. Thank <laughs> you. Oh my God. I, mean, I think you're Elizabeth Hasselhoff. <laughs> Whoopi, Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Joy <laughs> Behar. <laughs> Oh, Sherry. Yes. Oh my, oh my this God. is great. This is great. Jim, is this law racist? Oh yeah. Racism is relative. What you have to remember is SB 1070 mm -hmm. was drafted in a way that makes what might sound otherwise to be a logical thing at racism. Why? Because the minute I walk into Phoenix or Tucson, I raise a reasonable suspicion that I might be undocumented. Why? Soy mm vigoton. -hmm. I'm brown. Mm -hmm. You can't have a law with unequal protection. It's not going to pass the Constitution the way it's drafted right now. That's the bottom line. We can debate everything else, right. but it's not going to pass constitutional muster. What's good is that it takes the hoods and the white sheets off the people no who are mean-spirited and who really want to have a pretext for immigrant bashing. What happens? Bad economy, when the Italians were here, start with the Irish. Bad economy, right. yeah. everything's about the Irish immigrants. Right. Bad economy, it's about the Italian immigrants. Bad economy comes the war, it's the Germans. What did we do to the Japanese? We put them in internment camps. And in 1930, the Bracero program, they, no, they were not 1930s, yeah, after the Depression, during the Depression, they took out all of these Latinos, Mexicanos, and sent them back to Mexico. Some of them were citizens, and they, they were... They had to go as well. Out. You have to remember one basic thing. When you drive... Okay, some of us can afford to spend the weekend at La Costa, but on the way back to L.A., you pass all the strawberry fields. Mm -hmm. What do you see? Men and women bent over at the waist, how, yeah, it, how, it, how is it they don't even stand up? But Hard work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, but wait, here's my attorney. point. Here's my point. You don't see Caucasians in those no. fields. You don't see blacks in those fields. What happens? Deport every undocumented tomorrow. What's going to happen? You're not going to have any salad. You're not going to have any strawberries. Who's going to wash your car? Who's going to watch your kids? The Republican mm. Party needs to understand that cheap labor is the backbone of the people but who are Republicans. But as a business attorney, how can, I mean, as a business attorney, when, a, when someone decides that they are going to hire people, why is it okay for, you know, Gallo and these huge companies to hire people that are undocumented? Don't we have laws in the country? The people that should be hired should be documented. How many times, how many stories across the country do we hear, oh, well, they didn't know they were undocumented because they they hired a, a temporary service or uh, another contractor. That's baloney, well, isn't it? Mira Elizabeth, lo que pasa. <laughs> what, 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 hap what happens Take is that what happens but is I mean the not. people who the people who have Listen, the I'm money. Not play the advocate. people the there pe are people that want to okay, know. Hold on, he wants to make a point. The, pe <laughs> the people who have the money, who own the fields, yes. who own the yes. factories who contribute big time to conservative right-wing causes are the same people who sneak in undocumented workers. That's what I'm saying. That's the hypocrisy of this entire there is argument. A lot of the hypocrisy. hypocrisy of this entire yes. argument is that right now undocumented, you know, here's the big thing, comprehensive mm -hmm. immigration reform, it's really not that complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One, earned path to citizenship. There you go. Two, yeah. fairness to workers. Yes. Don't abuse them, don't exploit them. And three, keeping families together. Mm. If some of the right-wing conservatives would have their way, 
children born in the U.S. whose parents yes. are undocumented right, yes. would be separated. Then what happens? They become wards of the state. That's then your taxes, taxes. Then your taxes. Them. Okay. Yes. But that's the, that's the full circle. <laughs> that's the full circle. That's the hypocrisy of it. Well, can't, can't we? Can't we get along? Reform? Yeah. No, yeah, we, we, can. Can. we need to talk not. about that. Immigration reform. Can it include? like a Bracero program, a lot of immigrants that come, Latino immigrants that come, they don't want to stay here. They want to go back to Mexico, but because of the coyote fees, they can't. So they start making a, a, a life for themselves here. Can, yeah. it, shouldn't immigration reform include some sort of, you know, a Bracero what, what program? You're, what you're suggesting mm -hmm. is the fine tuning that needs to be done after you get done with the big concepts. You've got to get done mm -hmm. with the big concepts. Earned, a, an earned path to citizenship as I said, is really important because we're not going anywhere. You can't deport 12, 12 million. million. Right. You know, that's not going to happen. Number no. two, we are a demographic that is multiplying exponentially beyond it's the amazing. ability of the country yeah. to deport us all. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> the reality is that the people on the right wing of this issue are so scared that I'm, I heard somebody tell me yesterday, do you want America to become Mexico? Not any more than I wanted it to become Ireland, not any more than I wanted right, it to yes. become Italy, Good not answer. any more than I wanted it to become Germany, or not any more than I wanted it to become Japan. What I want is equal protection for people who work for a living. You okay. see Latinos every day on the freeway selling you oranges. I don't see any other race right. selling right. you anything. Latinos would rather sell you peanuts and oranges yeah. than hold a sign right. that says, give me a break, right. and give me a buck. And usually those with the thing oh, yes, are not Latinos. Right. I read the bill because a lot of people mm. say, read the bill. You don't read the bill. So I read the bill. And again, there's a language that's a little fuzzy where you they, they can profile. But what I found interesting, they also address employers. But nowhere in the bill it, it says that they're going to be um, fined or in, um, put in proba on probation if they hire. But nowhere does it say they're going to find them. So that's it's it's disingenuous. But that's the hypocrisy. Yeah, yeah. Right. You pick on the defenseless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's you take on the corporations who wholesale bring in people underneath and then. Don't pay them. Kick them out of the country. Right. Drop a dime on them, a quarter now. Drop a quarter. <laughs> and then they leave and they don't pay them. The fact of the matter is, for example, I went to school on scholarships. My father paid taxes to, so for, for me to have an education. My father was born in this country. I went to Trader Joe's two weeks ago wearing a Guayabera and a Panama hat, and a guy rolls up to me with his cart and he says, were you born in this country? Why? Oh, my gosh. I said, I, I said my father was also born in this country. I said, where are you from, Arizona? And he said, no, I'm from Canada. I said, well, welcome to America. <laughs> Well, thank my, you, Jim. Okay. okay, well, we have a lot of information to cover. Unfortunately, we're out of time, so I want to thank our guest, James E. Blancarte, for being with thank us. Thank you thank so you. much. And we will be back soon with more on this very controversial topic. And our guest, James E. Blancarte, will give us our hot tips for today. The most important tip I can give you, number one, is register to vote. Number two, Use that vote. Go out there and vote. And number three, get others to register to vote and to use the power that they have, the political power that we have as a community. We're a large demographic. You must stand up and be counted. And the only way to do that in this country is to exercise the power of the vote. Register to vote. Well said, Jim. There you go. So if you want more information, you can visit our website and follow his advice. Get informed and vote. Cheese. All right, as you may have heard, Mexico's President Felipe Calderón was invited to a dinner at the White House. And what do you think they serve for dinner? What they serve? What? They Chinese? Mexico! Oh. <laughs> hey, why not? So the funny thing is, is that it was cooked by a... By Rick Bayless, who's an excellent chef. Aww. But they cooked... Wow. Did they cook mole? Or mole. No, I oh. heard one of the talk oh, shows on one of the right, right wing talk shows that they cooked mole. Well, they and looked like They thought it was a and meat. A no. mole. Which I thought was a little fishy. No, no, no those are good. That's that courageous good. with the, like uh, you know, the oil I'm in the sorry, Gulf, in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> If, if Obama goes to Mexico, are you going to serve him a hamburger and french fries? Oh, I, my goodness. Well, would, would, they, would the president want I hamburger and french fries? I don't fries? think so. What are they gonna, come on. No, but it's why nice. Mexican food? He what said get Mexico. Who you know what? Maybe who he was asked there for having it. the Mexican food? Eva, Eva George, and all these people.
Yeah, but it's good. anyway, we, we have right. representation. This has been a wonderful show, a heated show. <laughs> we want to thank you for joining us today. We want to thank our guests and our sponsors. Remember, go to letstalkshow.tv if you want to find out more about this show. And come back soon and let's talk. Let's talk.